Alright, what is up dudes, and welcome back to some more Fantasy Life. In today's episode, we're going to be heading further into the Elderwood. Ignoring what the uh, the weird guy said last episode, and we're going to head further in. Fawlty, did you hear what that funny man said? You may not pass. Hmm. But, we must. We have to find the Doomstone. I have to admit, I'm a little scared entering a forbidden forest. But, we must. We have to give the Queen's letter to the forest children. Could they be in the forest dwellers, the funny man mentioned? Hmm, an old oath. What is it, Laura? I finally remembered it. I finally remembered what my mother told me when I was a little girl. What did she tell you? One must pay their respects to the forest dwellers if one wishes to enter the Elderwood. If you get into trouble or get lost deep within the forest, simply listen for the voices of the spirits. For they are sworn to help you, bound by an ancient oath. That's what my mother said anyway. Listen for the voices of the spirits. I'm sure we'll be safe within the forest. I have faith in my mother's words. Even though she's not my mother, I believe in her too. Your mother is one of the, the one who told us that a goddess's treasure is hidden in the Elderwood. Really? Yes, she told us as we were leaving the castle. Right, Voltsy? That must be the fourth and final goddess's treasure, Hughes mentioned. Guarded not by humans, but by the spirits. Maybe them, those spirits will guide us to the treasure with their voices. So we have a try. Let's go, Volty. So also, off screen, I did quite a lot of uh, paladin challenges, so I'll quickly show you right now. I did um, quite a lot. I still did the uh, supercharge for the Shannon Blade, but as you can see, I did all these ones here, and I think we actually have enough stars now to um, to grow a rank. And before we head back, I might do um, these two right here. So that'll be an extra 400 stars. It's basically just kill the fairy dragons on top of Mount Snow Peak, which we've been there before. Don't know how tough they'd be, but 400 stars can't go wrong with that. So this is what the Deep Elderwood is like. It's p pretty different to the forest we've travelled through so far. But what a creepy atmosphere! Feels d dangerous, very dangerous. Also, you look as cool as a c cucumber. Not sc scared. I don't, don't mind admitting it. I don't think I've ever, ever been, been this scared before. I'm starting to doubt that m mother's words were true. I, I can't hear the voice of the spirits over the sound of my teeth chattering. M me, me neither. I, I d don't think I want to hear any voices in a forest like this. Eek! What was that? Was it a scream? Is that what a spirit sounds like? I don't think so. Sound like a girl scream. Let's go, Voltsy. Alright, let's go help out. Oh, this is terrible. The young girl, we attacked by shadow monsters. Voltsy, we have to help her. But, I don't see the doomstone anywhere. Voltsy, what do we do? There's no doomstone here at all. Forget the stone, we have to help the girl first. Voltsy, what are you going to do? Damn right, I'll fight. Got it, good luck. Oh, they look pretty tough. And they're actually not, so I'm gonna charge this up. Ah, oh, damn it, we got that. Don't use my special, so I can't really go for the other special. <laughs> Are you alright? Yes, I'm okay, I think. They just chewed me up. Chewed me a little. What? They chewed you? What? They bit you? It was only a little chew. A bit harder than the usual pay f uh, playful nip, though. Ouchie. Please don't blame the monsters. Something's making them act this way. It's got to be the Doomstone. Guess there really is one here somewhere. Looks like the Paladin report was right. Thanks to you, my little friend was saved. I am forever grateful. I'm surprised to see humans here. Humans? What are humans? Oh, never mind. My name is Layla. I'm Laura, this is Voltsy. And our fluttery friend here is called Flutter. She's a butterfly, but she makes us call her Flutter. Cute, huh? She's a princess, but she makes me call her Laura. Cute, huh? Hey, Miss Butterfly, show some respect to your future queen. <laughs> Never knew butterflies and humans could be such good friends. Is it again? What are humans? Um, why are you in our forest? Are you looking for something? Oh, we're looking for the Doomstone. Doom... stone? It's kind of a dangerous stone that falls from the sky. It's all black and shadowy and creepy looking. A Doomstone? That, and the Goddess's treasure. Goddess's... treasure? Right, we heard... we heard tell of it in an ancient legend. But all we know is that it's got something to do with the spirits. 
Um, would like to come over to my village with me. A village? You mean humans actually live in the forest? My village is called Elderwood Village. There are no humans living there. Our village chief is really old. I asked here once how old she was. There was so many zeros. Oh, um, anyway, she knows everything about old stuff. I bet she even knows about that old legend of yours. Really? Well, lead the way. Yes, please. Take us. I'd like to... I'd love to meet the village, uh, village chief. Come on, Vultzy. Okay, please come this way. You run along now. I bet she's an elf. Okie dokie, let's do a little bit of explore around here so we can find... Sinister tree. Oh. Also, I grew, I think, two levels off screen. And I put them into the intellect uh, category. So I think I might try and level up the class ready for a magician. Kind of want to use some magic attacks. The mage kind of looks interesting to me. I think it'd be pretty cool to use. I, I understand the um, the blacksmith or the um, the miner would be better suited for the like for the stats I got with the paladin, but. I see that as boring, I kind of want to use fun stuff like the Magician, because that looks really cool. <laughs> so I'll be using fun lives, but hopefully I can get this kind of near maxed out first. Look Vultzy, such a strange looking entrance. Must lead to a cave, right? Eek! <laughs> Don't worry, it's perfectly safe in here. My village is right through here, just a little further, okay? The Elderwood Grotto. Well, this place actually looks really cool. I'm gonna take some of your cave mushrooms. Your village inside a cave? Looks like a dead end. <laughs> One moment, please. Hey! Chuyo! Chubayo Chirimi? Charumuna da Layla. Layla? Layla? She's back! Layla's back! Yes, spirits is me. I've brought guests with me. Chuyo? Charu Mao Muna the guests? Guests! Guests! Are those the voices of spirits? Do 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 <laughs> this way please. My home is just ahead, Elderwood Village. If I can get a house here, I might try and get one. It looks really cool. This is the Elderwood Village. What a strange place. What's with, what's this sparkly stuff falling everywhere? It's beautiful. Is, is that a goddess statue? It looks a bit old. But it's identical to the one in Castel. I think I remember seeing the same statues in Port Puerto and Almagique as well. Come to think of it, how the each land in Riveria has its own goddess statue. Must be to the honour the goddess of those uh, with whose blessing the lands were formed. You mean... Oh, it's my big brother! It's the forest dweller from before. And you are... Look, here I am. I'm back. Layla, I can't believe it. You snuck out again? I told you not to go out into the forest until those stones stops falling from the sky. Sorry. Not to mention bringing humans into our village. How could you? They're really nice, honest. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a nice guy. Really? You saved my little sister's life? Then, I must thank you. I am Pino. This is Layla. And these are the forest spirits, the leaf... The leafies? Leafes? Leaves? Leafes? I think... I, I have no idea. Let's call you a leaf. True Muna da nice humans. Nice humans, nice humans. Ever since those stones started falling, the forest monsters have been acting strangely. As a token of my appreciation, I should extend to you the hand of friendship, but... You see, since time uh, immemorial, outsiders have been forbidden to enter our village. Is that a law? Yes, there's an agreement made in the goddess's name between we forest dwellers and the human race. At least, that's what the legend says. I'm afraid I don't know all the details. Anyway, humans do not come bothering us and we do not go bothering them. Are you saying that you're not human? I mean, human? Of course we're not. We're the forest dwellers, we reside with the spirits, we are half human and half other. I see. Anyway, there's a reason we're here, uh, see? We're looking for the goddess's treasure. We were hoping we could see the village chief. The village chief knows lots about real, really old stuff. Never never heard the village chief mention any goddess's treasure. Pino, 
Please let them. T please let me take Voltsy and his friends to see the Great Spirit. No, I forbid it. But why? Mind your own business, Layla. Leave these humans to me. But I told you, they're nice. They really are. No, Layla. You. You big dum dum. Layla, Layla. I apologise on behalf of Layla. She's grown into a headstrong young woman. As her older brother, I would rather she did not uh, fraternise with unapproven individuals. Please, I beg your understanding. Hmm, unproven? Indeed, to the condition of the ancient agreement. Is there any way to get uh, we can get proven? Like by taking an exam, passing a trial? Ha! <laughs> How amusing. A butterfly that speaks of human concepts. I've never seen those wing markings before. Are you from the forest? No, I'm from, uh, uh I mean... Oh, I'm from Castell, of course. Yes, I live in Voltsy's house. I see. Well, you must be tired. I shall permit you to rest a while. I'm afraid that once you have rested, I must escort you from the village. Sorry to keep on about it, but this place is not somewhere for humans to visit. What a butterfly! A butterfly who lives with humans is just as bad as a human. Oh, how cruel are you! Please, just let me know when you're ready to leave. I'll lift the seal upon the entrance. Are there some shops I can like kind of visit while we're here? Ooh. Don't want to go there yet. And what's this? Looks like I can buy furniture. I don't really need any of that stuff. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Beavers. What do you sell? Nothing I can actually use around here, but it's good to know where stuff is. Wait, do I have to go? Nope, I can go up the stairs. And you have a quest. Russell, Russell, hello. It's true that humans sell trees in shops. Trees were put in home. Oh, that's because I want umbrella tree. We can't actually chop down trees because we are not a woodcutter, so I can't actually get that quest. Oh good, you ready to leave. Uh, yeah, we're leaving. Then I shall squeeze to the exit. There ain't a rest up, I've got full health and everything. There, you should be able to pass. I truly am grateful to you for rescuing my little sister. Well, safe travels. Excuse me, there's something I'd like to ask you first. Has has a Castel Castellian lady ever passed through here? A Castellian lady? Well, we do get the odd lost human wandering across our borders, but come to think of it, I remember a human lady being allowed to visit when I was little. Back when there was many other children of the forest, before they were all went away. Actually, Blue Cap. You remind me a little of that lady. I knew it. Mother's been here. Oh. What's wrong, Flutter? Miss P Mr. Pino, please, read this. We were told to give you this letter uh, to the children of the forest. A letter? But from whom? From Ophelia, the Queen of Castel. From Mother? Lady Ophelia? Hmm, I dare say this letter is intended for the Great Spirit herself. Very well, I shall personally deliver it to the Great Spirit. And, uh... Incidentally, the name of Lady Ophelia is not unknown to me. I... you mean? Pino! Pino! What's wrong? Layla! Layla collapsed! <gasps> what? What is this? Pino, what, what's wrong with Layla? I love the fact they got little, um, sad faces and everything. <laughs> their text. Layla gone die! <laughs> I've never seen anyone in a condition like this before. What could be the curse of this? Maybe it's because of the uh, effects of the Doomstone. What are you talking about? Doomstones have the power to possess nearby monsters and make them violent. And Layla was bitten earlier by a pair of those shadow monsters. Maybe the monsters transferred their condition to her through the bite. My sister and I are half human, half monster. It's not possible that we could uh, contract a monster's condition. How can I save my sister? Forest medicine won't cure this. I can try to help her. 
You can help her? How? Have you got some special medicine? Use my power to hold back the Doomstone's effects. Everyone, stand back! What? You're the girl from Mount Snowpeak? Oh, see, Laura. Please forgive me. My true name is Yulia. I wanted to say something. I really did. I'll try to explain later. I have to help Layla right now. Look, the shadowy parts are spreading fast. I'm going to use my power to hold off the effects of the stone uh, temporarily. Voltsy, Laura, you have to find the doomstone before it's too late. Okay, got it. Let's go, Voltsy. Can you really save my sister? I think so. No, I know we can. But we need to destroy that doomstone. I understand. I shall guide you through the forest. Please come with me. Hey, Pino, join the team. Well, uh, Flutter fl uh, finally showed her true self. Do I start calling her Yulia now, or do I still call her Flutter? I do quite like Flutter. <laughs> I'll call her Yulia, because it's just... It flows better. It's pretty cool we get got like two people with us now. Pino and Laura. Enemies should be a lot easier to beat. Although I still do want to fight that giant, giant enemy. I know I'd, I lose easy, but I still want to do it. Bro! There's a strange aura coming from up ahead. Yes, I feel it. I can't stop shaking. This whole place is off limits. The doomstone fell around here. But no one's found it yet. Bro, why you gotta be why you gotta do everything she says? Bro, <laughs> don't tell me don't tell me you think she's pretty, do ya? Yes. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. You're talking all funny again, bro. It's creeping me out. Ah What what was I saying? And you're back to normal again. Her personality may not be up to much, but she's certainly easy on the eyes. No, no, what am I saying? It's highly relevant to the current situation. You two again. Oh, uh... What a coincidence. Seems we just keep running into each other. Don't believe it, but I'm actually glad to see ya. It's my bro. He's acting all possessed again. We're not doing anything wrong. I swear it. See? Huh? What are you two doing prowling around here? You don't know us, man. Don't accuse us of prowling. We're searching. You stupid squash head. Just keep quiet. You took your sweet time. Did you get what I asked for? Uh, well, it's not easy as all that. Not like we didn't try. Please, just give us a little longer. We ende uh, endeavour the endeavour to serve. Bro, you're a slave now? It's a silence, turnip head. I ain't anyone's slave. <laughs> oh, it's you. So you meet again. Where's Goody Two Shoes? Not with you today? Hmm, someone's been affected by the Doomstone. Yuli's using her powers to stop the spread. Pfft, always a little saviour. Still, from what you say, saving her might not be as simple as destroying the Doomstone. What? But why not? It's not like it's when the Shadow Monsters are affected by the Doomstone's influence externally. This girl has been bitten by a monster, right? That means the Doomstone's power has directly entered her bloodstream. Breaking the Doomstone won't help it if its evil is already inside her body. No! So what do we do? Hey you, Voltsy, whatever you're called. Yeah, Voltsy's right. I'll help you out, just because this is an interesting case. Get rid of the shadow monsters, then bring me the doomstone shards. I should be able to make a potion to restore the girl back to normal. You goons help too. What? I'll need some other materials to synthesize the potion. Go and get these. But these are... Yep, mushrooms. Right up your alley. Quit your belly aching and get on a move. Get a move on. Bro, this seems too dangerous. I agree, Butch. But for some reason, whenever I hear that voice, I must obey. Yes, mistress, your wish is my command. Bro! <laughs> Good doggy, do as you're told. You should make haste. Looks like this particular doomstone is especially potent. Good luck, I'll meet you by the village entrance when you're done. Oh, oh my. She just turned to a butterfly as well. Girls that can turn to butterflies. Could that mean they're both the goddesses? The goddesses what? No, never mind. Ignore me. Let's just do what, uh, what she says and do it quickly otherwise. My poor sister will. Yes, first we need to get that doomstone. We'll see. Alright, well I'm going to end this bar right here. And next episode we're going to look for the doomstone. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.
Peace.